Today is uh, August uh, 12, 2013, Rogue River Valley, Oregon, right here on the Rogue River, beautiful place. Drop dead gorgeous river valley, mountains all around, beautiful sunny day, there's my buddy, Alan Mash, Master Dredger. And what we're going to do today, this is uh, this is the end of day cleanup. So I'm going to take all the material that's in my dredge and uh, process it for the first step, which is going to be to uh, remove all the big stuff, remove as much of the material that's not gold as possible, and come down to concentrates that contain the gold, which we'll take back to camp for the final separation of the gold the good old-fashioned way with a miner's pan. So that'll be the end of the video segment uh, when we get down to panning. For starters though, I'll let you see the result of today's efforts which was uh, two dives on the top section. This is a, a Keen Mini 6, 6 inch dredge. The sluice portion here in the back has a bottom section which catches any of the big nuggets that happen to fly through there. And that would be nice to actually find some of those. A middle section, through this grate, fine gold falls through and then gets caught in a section of riffles that's below this, which we'll see when we open it up and you'll see what's under there. And the top section is a set of riffles and black ribbed mat, which catches most of the incoming little pieces and fine gold, most of which gets caught in the top. So uh, today the top has two dives on it, about two hours each dive. And I can already see there's some pieces of gold in here. There's a little piece right there. We'll try to pick that up if we can. That's why they call them pickers. There's a nice little piece of gold. And we'll just add that to the other pickers that I got out earlier today when I checked it at midday around noon to see how I was doing in my first dive. So you can see there's there's definitely gold showing in the little rib mat. And we're gonna we're gonna get all that in the process of cleaning up. There's a piece right there. A lot of it gets caught behind this first riffle. And it likes to go out to the uh, to the sides. There's another nice little piece. We'll just go ahead and let that get caught in the cleanup. And some more. Looking good up here in the front section of riffles off to the side. Definitely signs of catching some nice little pieces. Nice little pieces over in the side. So that's all a good sign. Some of it you cannot see right now. It's uh, it's buried in the in the sand and the silt and dirt and rocks and stuff that are in there. So this is the introductory. So what I'm going to be doing this little video segment on, there won't be much dialogue. Give you one good overview, the whole dredge. And uh, I'm going to button the camera back up in its waterproof housing just to uh, keep it safe and sound while I'm throwing stuff around and, and doing the cleanup process. And that'll get it on a tripod that I can sort of mount some vantage point here where you'll be able to see the whole process from start to finish. And I'll have to break it up into segments for, uh, for YouTube. And then we'll finally get down to the panning at campsite and you get to see the completed, finished gold process, uh, re removing the gold as, uh, as we get back to that point. So anyway, to get it started, I'm um, going to button it up park this camera we're going to clean the top section then the bottom sections then you do a process called classifying which puts it through a sieve like strainer to get rid of all the really big stuff and we'll finally get down to the last step here on the river which is running it through a plastic uh, set of riffles called lay trap which is uh, designed for the final separation of the concentrates and getting rid of everything but your final panning material That'll be the last step. So I hope you enjoy it, and this is how you clean up your gold after a day of dredging. 
and uh, man, it's just so beautiful out here, I can't believe it. Uh, I'm like the luckiest man in the world except for one thing. There's somebody I really love back in Florida where I came from and hope I get to see her again someday. So I hope you enjoy the video and we'll get with it now.